For the fight we're about to watch, I'm in a sacrilege, a Tech 2 heavy assault cruiser be belonging to the Condit line of ships of the Amar race. They focus on missile damage and are typically very tanky. Once they get a hold of you, they're hard to shake off. The trade off for that tank is decreased mobility. With the fit here, I'm using an active armor repping fit rather than a typical heavy armor plate fit. That way, I can take advantage of the tank bonuses of the sacrilege while not completely losing my ability to tackle or dictate range. In this fight, we had a Russian run through our space in a pirate cruiser after I had actually killed his buddy a couple times. The cruiser he is in is a signable, a very fast hull with moderate damage. Midway through the fight with the signable, his buddy, my previous kill, warps in to help in a Drake battle cruiser. Let's run the clip and we'll talk through it. Here we have the signable, and he's just jumped into system with me. I'm just sitting on the gate, and he's about 15 kilometers away, so I'm going to overheat my micro warp drive burn down to him and try to get uh, Scram and Web on him. Now that I have Scram and web on, web on him, he's not really going to be able to shake me. He has engaged me, so you see that he has the red box on me, so he's not going to really be able to go back through the gate at this point. So he's pretty much committed to the fight. Uh, as you can see, even though he's just laying into me with his auto cannons, I'm tanking him easily, and I actually don't even need my repper overheated here. I wasn't sure how hard he was going to hit me, so I preheated it just to uh, get ahead of the damage. But you can actually see that his shield is dropping pretty, pretty quickly, or he was actually had two large shield extenders. So we've already uh, been fighting for about a minute, and his buddy just now lands, and it's going to just be way too late for the sign wall. He has no chance. So along with the Drake landing, at this point we have a Do and Savage about to land as well to help along with the uh, fight. Savage is going to be an Onyx, which is a heavy interdictor, so you're going to see him jump through and cast a large bubble around everyone right there, and no one's going to be able to warp out of it. So the side ball goes down here, and we're going to get the pod while I'm grabbing tackle on the Drake. So same situation, I burn over to the Drake and I got the scram and the web on him. At this point, the Drake is trying to hit me with his rapid light missile launchers, but it's not really hurting my tank whatsoever. I could pretty much tank him forever. A uh, side note, we actually just had a Hound jump into our system here. This is a third party, and he is known for doing uh, Black Ops battleship drops, and that's going to come into factor later. So the Drake is, ver Drake is very tanky. Here you see him. He's actually yellow boxing, and he's going to do what's called um, disengaging. And right now, he needs to try to get back through that gate. If he can last a minute after having disengaged and get to that gate, he can actually escape us and warp through. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to go up to the gate, I actually missed on this first pass, and then I'm going to use my ship's momentum, and I'm going to bump into him to push him further away from, further away from the gate. So you're going to see me go up, I turned off my mark warp drive here, and then once I get a pretty good distance away, I turn around by aligning, and once I'm lined up, I'm actually going to activate my warp drive, my micro warp drive, and I'm going to just barrel into him, pushing him away. I'm going to do this a couple times, but really after the first one, the first one was probably good enough because he's just not going to get back in time. The Drake has a very strong shield tank, and once we're able to get through it, which is we're about reaching the tankiest point of it right now, uh, he's just going to go down really quickly. But I'm actually going to get a couple bumps off on him here. <laughs> So once the uh, pirate cruiser had gone down, we had pretty much um, had this fight under complete control. The stealth bomber that jumped in, we actually, you'll see us, we uh, make a mistake. After, after we take this drake out, we sit in this bubble and we're talking about the kill and we're looking at the kill mails and we're sitting at the wreck. And at this point, or excuse me, at that point, we had actually should have warped out because we're sitting in a bubble, we're trapped, and with a known blops dropper in system. And that's going to come into play here shortly. You can see there's the final bump on the Drake, and at this point he's got absolutely no hope of getting back through. And we're just going to sit parked right on him. And you can see once his shield dropped, he's just dropping a lot quicker. Give the typical good fight in local. And I didn't know it at the point, but this is the guy I'd actually killed earlier. And the pod as well. Typically, if you know you're going to go down, you can start spamming warp. And as soon as you enter your pod, you're going to be able to warp out. But since this guy's in a bubble, he can't go anywhere. I'm giving everyone a chance to go ahead and get some EUR on the pod so everyone gets credit for it. And there he is. So at this point, like I said, you can see us. We're proud about the fight we just got. It was a pretty fun fight. 
um, we're, we're posting it in different channels and talking about it and just kind of enjoying the show. And we're about to pay for it. So right there, the hound pops up. I call it out. I see it. And we're putting DPS on it, but you can see the Sino is already lit. And at this point, he's going to call in about eight of his buddies. Now, they're not pointing me. They're pointing the Onyx, which is what Savage is flying. And the reason for that is, is he is worth $300 million, approximately. So we get the Hound here, but Savage is already locked up by the other guys. I'm burning away. A dude has already gotten out of here. But at this point, Savage is just taking way too much damage. And he's going to go down, and I'm able to get out just in the end. So yeah, hindsight, I mean, as soon as we got the uh, first two kills, we should have burned out, and I mean, that's a bad call on my part as the FC. I, I knew that there was a Blob Sky in system, he had jumped into us, so we had just should have pulled away and left the wreck as is, and safed up. But, I mean, there's always something we can learn from every engagement. Hopefully, watching this video and hearing some commentary helps you out. Thanks.